Hey, what's going on, Z Nation? Zade here, ZSPN, and welcome to the Lakers post game show on ZSPN on YouTube. Happy Valentine's Day to every single one of you out there who are watching this, who show me the love support for my channel and all of my social media Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. If you guys haven't yet, please. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like all my social media sites, and for those of you who are viewing this, who are not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and show me the support on this channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Lakers versus the Denver Nuggets tonight. Uh, there's a couple of things that I really want to get into uh, when it comes to the injury that had occurred to uh, Anthony Davis and the details of it. And I will give you guys my thoughts and my opinions about uh, tonight's loss against the, uh, the Denver Nuggets tonight for the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, with this loss, they are now seven losses into the NBA season with 21 wins. Uh, they're still at, uh, at the second seat in the Western Conference, uh, which Utah Jazz leads the number one seat in the Western Conference. So um, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts and my opinions about tonight's game. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. So guys, uh, the Lakers uh, suffered a loss against the Denver Nuggets tonight. Uh, as I said in my intro, uh, the Lakers are now 21 wins. And with this loss, they have seven losses into the NBA season, being at the second seat in the Western Conference. So uh, it kind of puts things in a kind of a question uh, moving forward when it comes to the Lakers and, uh, um, you know, their expectations uh, moving forward. But uh and the reason because of it, because, you know, there was some reports that just came in when it came to uh, this particular game, according to uh, Woj from ESPN, regarding uh, Anthony Davis, who uh, reactivated his Achilles. And uh, with this uh, report, uh, Woj from ESPN says that uh, in his right Achilles, uh, he is um, getting uh, a little bit of swollen in his uh, right uh, Achilles, and he's going to get uh, um, an MRI on Monday, so tomorrow. And, uh, you know, with this type of report, it kind of puts things in kind of a, a question about the status of Anthony Davis. And uh, if you guys didn't see what went down when it came to uh, Anthony Davis's, uh, um, you know, re his Achilles, uh, check this video out and tell me what you think. See Jokic, once he saw that he was looking to pass, he tried to pressure him a little bit, but... That right there, that's where the foul is. I didn't really see anything from the ankle. Not, not looking to come out. Lakers have gone about three minutes without scoring. And Davis. I think they're pair. looking to foul. They're trying to get him out the game. He's not moving. All right, on the mark. That is not a good sign. And he missed a couple of games with it bothering him. We, have, you know, if that's the same injury that, that of course, missed the two games, then returned on Friday night, had 35 points, looked terrific. He's looked terrific so far tonight. And it's 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 injuries like this are so funny where you can start to feel better. You can run with no pain. You can cut. You can jump. You can do everything, but one little bump one little misstep and it almost feels like you take two steps back so it's it's you know that's why when they say they're being very cautious and he was dealing with some lower leg injuries last year uh whether it was a heel or something and it's just weird how so you guys can tell uh, anthony davis was just holding on to that uh you know just kept on touching that uh that right achilles that he that he's been suffering for the past uh couple of games and uh, I said this in my last video when it came to Anthony Davis returning uh, you know even though he had a great performance uh, you know the last game when he scored 35 points uh, it kind of put things in the kind of a question mark for me when it came to uh, you know a player coming back from uh, a certain injury that's like one of the worst injuries you can get when it comes to an athlete or any human being when it comes to that sort of uh, you know type of injury and uh, I told him, I even said it, you know, it was kind of too 
early for him to come back from this. Uh, you need to be you need to make sure that you are 100% when it comes to this particular injury. I mean, we all witnessed from, you know, uh, from the late Kobe Bryant, how that went down. And, you know, KD uh, a couple of years ago when he ruptured his Achilles and, uh, you know, he was out for almost uh, a year because of that. And uh, due to the circumstances of what the Lakers are going into the NBA season, if we have, God forbid, you know, somehow... The MRI comes back on Monday that, you know, he, God forbid, knocking on wood here. If somehow Anthony Davis ruptured or did something for him to, you know, injure or a little tweak to his Achilles, uh, he could be out for potentially a couple of months or a, the year. I mean, this is an Achilles we're talking about. We all witness great players throughout the years, uh, you know, when it comes to uh, Achilles like this, um, their career basically changes because of it. And uh, even though we can see how KD has been playing uh, for the Brooklyn Nets, that he's just been balling uh, since he uh, came back from the Achilles injury, uh, it kind of puts things into kind of a an idea maybe somehow anthony davis if somehow we if he did rupture his achilles maybe he will come back uh, better than ever but uh, i just don't really know yet we're we all really don't know about the circumstance of anthony davis and him reactivating his uh, achilles but um hopefully we will learn about it and i'll bring you all every everything news update speculations about anthony davis and uh, the circumstances of his achilles uh but uh, hopefully uh guys let's just pray on it uh i know uh prayers are up for anthony davis and uh hopefully there will be good news when it comes to uh this particular uh injury that occurred to anthony davis and uh, that and you know like i said it kind of puts things in a kind of a question mark uh, as i said in the beginning of this video about the expectations for the los angeles lakers moving forward because with this loss uh, it kind of puts things into about of a, a question really of uh, what will the lakers do without anthony davis now of course we do have uh, lebron james who is you know letting it up uh, you know, in this NBA season, being in the conversation really for MVP, um, you know, it, it kind of puts things into question, really. I mean, maybe there's a couple of things the Lakers can do. Either they could, um, I don't know, somehow uh, make a trade that could potentially help out LeBron and the rest of the Lakers squad, or maybe uh, s certain players need to step up their role, being a number two guy alongside LeBron James, maybe Kyle Kuzma, maybe uh, Dennis Schroeder, or could be any certain player, really. Uh, they need to step up when it comes to uh, this particular uh, occurrence to Anthony Davis's uh, injury. So... Um, Frank Vogel uh, needs to, you know, do something, check something out when it comes to certain players need to step up. But, um, you know, but, you know, when it comes to all that, uh, hopefully uh, we, we will learn all about it moving forward uh, in the next couple of days. But uh, hopefully we will know uh, once Anthony Davis's result of his MRI uh, comes out. But, uh, but yeah, just uh, let's all pray on it, guys. And hopefully Anthony Davis comes back. Uh, with the uh, better than ever when it comes to uh, news, uh, good news about uh, his MRI results. So uh, getting into the game of, of the Lakers versus the Denver Nuggets, uh, you know, due to the injury of Anthony Davis, uh, it really went sideways for the Los Angeles Lakers. You can just tell throughout the game that, you know, the Lakers, they weren't, uh, you know, on their A game. There was not a lot of uh, coordination and just... They were just not focused whatsoever when it comes to uh, the second half because, as we all know, the Lakers do come back in certain situations when it comes to, uh, you know, um, trying to come back uh, with a certain lead. But unfortunately, uh, you know, they, they didn't. Uh, they were lacking shooting out there tonight and especially defense. Uh, they couldn't grab those rebounds, make turnovers for against the uh, the Denver Nuggets for them to have an advantage and 
you know, the, the, the Nuggets tonight were just were, were a better team in this matchup uh, tonight uh, because of what I put down. And, uh, um, you know, it was just a, a bad night for the Los Angeles Lakers. And, uh, you know, LeBron, he had a, a double-double out there. I believe he had uh, 25 points and uh, 10, maybe it was like 10 rebounds and 9 assists. So uh, he tried. He tried to, you know, be that driving force for the Lakers tonight. But unfortunately, it wasn't enough. And it all had to do with the people that are around him, the players that are around him. Uh, you know, and then with Anthony Davis being out, the results of his stats tonight, uh, he had 15 points. So, uh, you know, he, he was doing good until what occurred. But, uh, you know, hopefully, as I said, uh, good things will come for Anthony Davis when it comes to the MRI. And hopefully if it's if his kill is not too serious. Maybe he could be out for the next couple of games or you'd be on the safe side. Maybe he should be out for a month because, you know, you need to make sure that your Achilles is 100% healed. So, um, you know, that sort of instance. Uh, but, you know, Dennis Schroeder, KCP, I mean, the rest of those guys at the starting lineup, uh, their efforts out there were not enough and they didn't really step up when it came to uh, after the effect of Anthony Davis. So, uh, you know, kind of blame on their performance for not stepping up. But Kyle Kuzma, off the bench, 19 points. He had a great performance uh, on his part due to the loss. But, uh, you know, he, uh, for himself, he had a great performance in my opinion. And uh, this is one of them. Check this out. It's a KC three attempt. Kuzma throws it down over Porter. <laughs> I tell you, boy, I just love the way he's transferred his game from just being more or less a spot-up shooter Woo. to being an all-around guy on <laughs> both ends and the way he attacks the offensive glass over the top of Porter for the flush. What a play. You know, just a beautiful blo uh, dunk by, uh, you know, Kyle Kuzma was just uh, really great to see that on occasion when it comes to his greatness and what we all appreciate from Kyle Kuzma because this is how he is. This is what he was when it came to his first two years with the Los Angeles Lakers. You know, going the offensive attack, uh, making uh, certain moves like that. It was just uh, great to see at times. Uh, and this is one of them. So, so great job out there for uh, in tonight's game uh, for uh, Kyle Kuzma. He had 19 points, and I believe he had eight rebounds. So uh, his rebound ability has been so sensational for the Los Angeles Lakers. But uh, due to the lack of rebounding in tonight's game, uh, you know, it all had to do with uh, the rest of the bench who. You know, did not really step up out there. I mean, we can give the argument for Alex Caruso that he uh, was uh, active and he was out there to help the Lakers, but uh, it just wasn't enough, and it was just due to the lack of help from the bench. And uh, you know, this, like I said, I mean, it was a lack of coordination and it was just uh, lack of energy. And you know, the Lakers they were just not on their A game in tonight's game against the Denver Nuggets. The Denver Nuggets were the better team. And, uh, you know, hopefully moving forward, the Lakers will bounce back. I believe Tuesday they'll be facing the Minnesota Timberwolves. So, um, you know, things can go either way when it came to when it comes to this particular matchup. I think the Lakers could potentially get a win over the uh the, the Minnesota against Minnesota. So, you know, it's just one of those type of situations that they just need to put their minds together and uh, work as a team, bring that energy in that particular game. And I think they can because I believe they are, the, the Timberwolves are like the worst team in the Western Conference, I believe. So, because last time I checked, I think they had six wins now and 20 losses. So, uh, you know, they're like, they're like down there. So hopefully... Uh, maybe you know the Lakers could get a win on Tuesday against the uh, the uh, the Minnesota Timberwolves, but uh, still remains to be seen about that, and uh, also still remains to be seen about the situation for Anthony Davis. And uh, guys, like I said, I'm gonna keep on repeating myself, and I know I've been uh, you know overdoing it when it comes to Anthony Davis' situation, but this is big. This is really big when it comes to Laker fans and their 
uh, expectation for the Lakers when it comes to uh, them being the defending champs and for them to go for another um, championship this year in 2021. And uh, that's the circumstances that they are uh, that that the Lakers are in and uh, due to uh, the circumstances with Anthony Davis, it kind of puts things into kind of a, a question mark about the Lakers uh, expectations moving forward. So, uh, you know, if somehow Anthony Davis does uh, not play th- for the rest of the season, you know, kind of puts things into kind of a question mark for the Lakers moving forward. And, uh, you know, they won't, uh, they could potentially reach the playoffs, but they could not be a, uh, championship contenders because of Anthony Davis being out but you know you never know maybe a trade might happen that can help LeBron James or you know just anything could uh, potentially could go down when it comes to maybe improving certain players role with maybe Kyle Kuzma maybe uh, Dennis Schroeder I mean they could just step up and be that second option for LeBron James but uh you know, also LeBron James. You need to worry about him at you know playing so much minutes as well. So there's a lot of question marks. There's a lot of uh, you know things that the Lakers need to work on when it comes to uh, the circumstances that they're in moving forward. Uh, you know, maybe they need to give less t- uh, minutes to LeBron to just have some resting time due to the age that he's in. Uh, you know, it's kind of. It's, it's all up in the air. It's all up in the air for the Lakers' uh, circumstances that they're in. And hopefully we can all have some good news moving forward when it comes to the Los Angeles Lakers. And uh, uh, like I said, I'll keep you guys up to date about everything that goes down with uh, Anthony Davis uh, getting the MRI tomorrow, uh, Monday. So um, hopefully things go well for Anthony Davis with some good news. And hopefully uh, it's... Uh, you know, everything goes well for Anthony Davis moving forward. So, guys, please comment down below, like, subscribe to the channel, share my videos. I probably went too long with this video, but uh, this is a, a, an important uh, uh, type of update. Uh, most of what I've been talking about has been Anthony Davis because the game was just uh, not entertaining to watch, in my opinion, because, you know, the Lakers uh, just were on their A game. There's not a lot of energy, teamwork. So it was just a bad game for the Los Angeles Lakers. But uh, the headline was Anthony Davis. Okay, that's all what it was. Anthony Davis is, uh, uh, you know, re-aggravating his Achilles, uh, swollen in his right Achilles, uh, where it all started for him, uh, uh, you know, with that particular injury. So um, he reaggravated it and uh, he was going to get an MRI on Monday. And um, that's something that all Laker fans are at the edge of their seat for a potential good news for AD and his injuries. So, um, so yeah, guys, please comment down below, like, subscribe to the channel, share my videos, and uh, please give me your thoughts about uh, tonight's game against the uh, Denver Nuggets tonight, and uh, what do you think about Anthony Davis's uh, situation? I really want to know your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, share my videos, and please like all my social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'll leave the links to my social media sites in the description of this video so you guys can check out my social media sites and of course subscribe to the channel share my videos and i'll see you all in the next video thank you so much for watching go lakers take it easy guys stay safe out there